Hi, this is Dale O'Shields, pastor of Church of the Redeemer in Gaithersburg, Maryland. Thank you for joining us for our devotional time today. I'm so glad that you're a part of this, and i just praying that today's word would mean something to you right where you are in your life. We're in the Christmas season. We're talking about the royal titles that Isaiah the prophet spoke of in the coming of Christ, his advent. And he said that he would be known, Messiah would be known as the Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, and the Prince of Peace. So we're looking at this idea of the Everlasting Father. Jesus came to reveal to us God the Father. And let me just remind you of uh, what that means to you, that, that, that God is a Father to us. He is a good Father to us. Now, depending upon uh, our background with our earthly Father, it certainly does affect our view of God as Father, but we need to be reminded that God is a good, good Heavenly Father. And being the good Father to us, it means that God is always available to us. He's actually as close as the mention of His name. He responds to us when we call upon Him. He's accepting of us. He may not approve of everything that we do. We do he certainly doesn't approve of all the, the the wrong and evil attitudes and things uh, that we have and, and and things that we do at times. But there's an acceptance. There's a sense in which He wants us to come near to Him. He, he has an accepting nature. He wants to help us and not reject us. He's also very forgiving as a father. You know, one of the great things that can happen in your life is when, you, when you've messed up in the family and the father says, you know what, it's over with, you're forgiven. And that's, that's who God is. He's a forgiving father to us. He's committed to us. He really uh, ha- has made a strong commitment to take care of you, to be engaged in your life, and, to, and, and has proven that by his sacrificial giving through giving his son, Jesus, so we could have a relationship with him. And so when Jesus came to earth, he came to reveal to us the, the very nature of God the Father. And I just want to remind you today that you have a father who really does love you, a father who really cares about you, a father who is is welcoming you, who is inviting you into his presence that you can trust. So put your confidence in God as your father today.